Hiya, fishy friends! Welcome back to the studio in an all-new season of The Pacific Cow Show! <laughs> Today, I got to go behind the scenes in Jellyland with Aquarius Josh to learn all about how we feed our jellies. Don't be jelly! Come along! Josh, my friend, how you doing? Hi, Axel. I'm doing awesome. Thanks for having me here. How many types of jellies do you care for here at the aquarium? We actually take care of about 15 types of jellies, but that makes up about two to 4,000 jellies at any given time here at the aquarium. Two to 4,000? Yeah. Whoa, you know, that's a lot of mouths to feed. Wait, do they have mouths? Actually, they do. That's one of the few things they actually do have. Pop a sea jelly upside down. In between all the tentacles and what are called the frilly oral arms, you're going to find the mouth. How do you make sure they all get food every day? Well, the easiest way for me to do that is to offer food several times a day. So at any given time, you'll see me running around the aquarium feeding all the jelly tanks. Oh, really? Well, what do they eat? What we feed them the most of are called brine shrimp. Though we can actually hatch those out by the millions here. They're little platonic animals that are alive food that we can feed our jellies. What I want to do is introduce the brine shrimp into the water without splashing, because uh, bubbles and jellies aren't friends. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Bubbles and jellies aren't friends. Why? No, bubbles can actually get trapped underneath a jelly and burn a hole through them. So I gotta be real careful. Uh, and then as I introduce the brine shrimp into the tank, it'll kind of circulate the exhibit and then the jellies will kind of randomly catch it on their oral arms and move them up to their mouths. You know, I don't suppose they say thank you or maybe they sting you to say thank you? <laughs> hey, have you ever been stung? Uh, yeah, that kind of comes with the job. Uh, I get stung almost daily. How does a jellyfish sting work? Well, sea jellies, they don't necessarily mean to sting you, it's actually a natural reaction that happens when you touch their tentacles. When you touch them, it makes the tentacle fire what's called a nematocyst, which is like a small harpoon right into your hand. Whoa, you must really have a passion for jellies to put up with that. What made you want to work with them? I absolutely have a passion for jellies. And what made me want to work with them is when I was in college and I was a senior, I got an internship here at the aquarium. And they randomly put me in the jellyfish lab and I just fell in love with the work. And I decided that's what I wanted my career to be. Well, thank you, Josh, for popping in from Jellyland. And thank you folks for tuning in. We'll see you next week on the Pacific Pal Show.